Wow. Man. Well, let me let you down. <laughs> hey, that's a good song. Though. Did you write that? No, I haven't. I think the three of us can write that. Billy. Yeah. What do you think? Have, it, have it ready for tomorrow. What do you think, Billy? Mm -hmm. think we ought to write it? I agree. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, you know. Man, that's a great idea. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to play a song that, growing up as a kid, man, one of my all time heroes was George Jones. Woo! And, uh, and it's strange that I got to move to Nashville and uh, become personal friends with George and Nancy, and they're wonderful, wonderful people. But he cut this song of mine, and I felt uh, 10 feet tall when he did. Tired of sitting there at home, sick of being all alone, thought I'd just go for a drive. I was headed downtown, then I did a turnaround, and I saw the neon sign. Said happy hour two for one sounded like a lot of fun, so I stopped and went inside. Next thing I knew, I was sitting on a bar stool having the time of my life. And I had more silver bullets last night than the Long Ranger. I was shooting them down like I didn't have a care, ignoring all the danger. Yeah. Well, bless my soul, this morning I woke in the arms of a perfect stranger. I had more silver bullets last night than a long ranger. <laughs> well, did I fail to mention it wasn't my intention to stay out all night long? I was going to have a few, but one around a little too, and the next thing I knew I was gone. Now here's where I draw a blank of juice bombs playing Hank when she wrote in the same day. And all I remember is kissing sweet and tender and I was ever anyway. <laughs> I had more silver bullets last night than the Long Ranger. I was shooting them down like I didn't have a care, ignoring all the dangers. Well, bless my soul this morning I woke in the arms of a bird. Stranger, I had more silver bullets last night than a long ranger. 